Yo man, check this shit out! It's Kev Ashford here for Flying Pig United. Yeah, that channel. And wheels in motion man, so I've got to keep my eyes on the road. I do feel a bit like that, James Corden. Obviously I'm better looking and not as fat. But another dog shit result for United. Followed, you know, we've, we've drawn with West Brom and now we've drawn with Everton at home as well. You can't really take any positives from that 1-1 one, one, even though we got a late goal. It was, I mean, two games looking at going into that really we'd have been expected to win, especially at home as well. But we've not won. The fallout has started. Mourinho this, Mourinho that. You know, Fellaini, he's a gobshite. Why is he playing? He's absolutely useless. You'd be better off getting some, I don't know, some seeds, putting them in the centre circle and letting them grow into a tree. That would be better use, at least when it grows into a tree stump or something. You know, one of the opposition players might fall over it or something. That would be more used than Marouane Fellaini. Jesse Lingard, he really gets on my tits. All this dancing, dabbing, all that shit, and he can't even back it up on the pitch. Really don't see what he brings to the party. Yeah, couple of nice goals at Wembley and that, but, you know, ultimately it's what he does on the field, and everyone always says, oh, he's only young. He's 25, for Christ's sake. 25 years old. Players start hitting the peak at that age. He he's not even a first team regular. Uh, but yeah, the, the fallout started, and performance-wise, uh, we had our chances. I'm not going to say we're half done by with Ibrahimovic's header. It's just one of them things. Decisions go for you, and they go against you. Don't we know it this season? But uh, we are in danger of really missing out on top four, and it does turn your attentions to the Europa League and start making you wonder. I mean. We're going to have to put all our eggs in one basket to win that to get into the Champions League. Which is uh, pretty sad by United standards, but you know we'll take it man, we'll take it. If it does that and we get two trophies in the bag and we miss out on top four, but we've got the Champions League. I suppose you've got to be happy with that, but next season there won't be any excuses for Mourinho. The honeymoon period's over, and people like Luke Shaw have come in for, for criticism from Mourinho publicly. A lot of people backing Luke Shaw, you know, saying, "Why uh, has he has he done it publicly and put it into the you know public domain?" But for me, I think it just asks the question, you know, has, has Mourinho actually pulled Luke Shaw to one side publicly and stated this? You know, if you you're at work, you know, you don't just get. Uh, the bullet from work, you, you're gonna get, you know, a verbal warning, a written warning, and then you're on your final warning. I reckon Luke Shaw's on his. This is his final warning. I think Mourinho's pulled him on one side, uh, you know, behind closed doors, and said, "Listen, you need to, you know, up your game and start listening to me." It's obviously not worked. And yeah, man, as you can guess, the camera just fell off its uh, its holder. I'll have to get a new one of them. But yeah, Luke Shaw's come in the firing line, and rightly so, man. These footballers need a good kick up the arse, and that's what we wanted from Mourinho, and that's what he's bringing. One thing I will say is I think that Mourinho has totally underestimated the rebuild that needs to go on at United. People say, yeah, he spent money, he got all these top targets in, he did, but I think he's being let down by people he didn't think he was gonna be let down by, uh, and that's probably hurting Mourinho as well. But it was only a quick one for Flying Pig United. Uh, you can subscribe to me, Kevin Ashford 7. The old uh, thing should be in the top corner here somewhere. That's on YouTube and the old Twitter. But Sunderland at the weekend, I really hope we beat them. I can't stand Sunderland. They do my head in. Simply because they're small time. They still come to Old Trafford singing about Sergio Aguero's goal and that basically because they've got fuck all else to sing about so i think we will win on sunday and it will put another nail in their coffin hopefully they go down because they've been hanging on by the skin of their ball bags for about four or five seasons now they always just beat the drop so let's uh, let's put that nail in the coffin let me know what you think in the comments 
Uh, apologies for wearing the old sunglasses, but as you might have guessed, it is sunny. It really is. So get the comments in, drop a like on it if you like it, subscribe to obviously uh, Flying Pig United, and hopefully I'll see you back soon. I'm on my way back from Hull. I'm just going to navigate my way home to Manchester.